Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Art. Today we're going to be expanding our tame collection. So up until Fjordor, rock drakes were only ever found on Aberration down in the Radiated Zone. And over here on Fjordor, you can also get them in the Radiated Zone over on Asgard. And we're going to be doing that today without a hazmat suit. So the Andrew Sarkis, the saddle that he has, that kind of little tank thing, it protects you from radiation. I mean, that is why you're inside of it. However, when we jump out to grab the egg, <laughs> we're going to take a little bit of radiation damage. But I think that'll be fine. I want to do it today without a hazmat suit. Let's see how that works out. We could build a suit today, but I don't want to. I want to see how it does without one. I think it'll be neat, man. A little bit of an experiment. So what we're going to do is grab the Andrew Sarkis. I was thinking about upgrading his saddle. I mean, we are going down into the Rock Drake Den, but I want to see how he does with a just regular primitive one. So we haven't bred this one, right? It's just a regular tamed one. It wasn't max level, and we didn't get a perfect tame on it. So it's kind of good conditions for testing. I mean, well, sort of is. We'll see how it goes. I'm not taking any ammo. We're going to be using his regular damage, or his bite for damage. I don't want to waste ammo. It does very, very little because we don't have an upgraded saddle. So it's kind of a waste, right? We'll do some more testing with that later on when we do upgrade it. So for right now, I think he does around 450 per bite. So it shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and... I think you already healed up. You got a point. Let's put that into... Well, let's put it into damage. It's a good boy. <laughs> Man, I hope it turns out good. So a lot of people told me we can look at the eggs if we zoom into first person while we're on the team. So I'm hoping that's going to work out without us having to get out of the inside of it, right? I don't want to have to deal with that. So let's see. I want to grab... A little bit more medical brew. I don't have much, but let's take everything that we have just in case. We'll take a little bit of extra food. That's kind of it. We don't really need anything else. I hope. Let's grab... Oh, you know what? Let's take a grapple because sometimes they're up a little bit high. We'll put you down there. We're not going to need the taxidermy tool today. And let's just take 20. 20 should be good. And that should be enough. Cool. So what we're going to try to do is I want to grab the bat just in case... And we're going to try using the teleporter instead of going all the way down to the portal. Let's see, which one? I think this is our bat, right? You are. I had to move the other one because it seems like every time I log out and log back in, I had him kind of on clipped onto the side of the building over there. He would go up higher and higher and higher. He was eventually up there where I could almost not see him. So it's kind of, I don't want to lose him, man. <laughs> That's a little bit of a bug, I guess. So we are going to go to Asgard. And there's only one place to teleport there. And then we're going to go... It's over on the east side. Maybe northeast. We'll see how close we get over there. Oh, you know what? I got to watch out, man. You can teleport your teams like this. I didn't think about it. Are we far enough away from... Hopefully we don't take the Argentavis or our Sabertooth in. Oh, dude. I really need to not do that right here. <laughs> I need to leave the castle walls. When we go to teleport. Alright, so there's supposed to be another way. Or, I mean, there is another way. There's supposed to be... Where are we even at? Let's get on the bird and see where we're at. There's another way to do this. I don't know if any lamp rays are on this map. I haven't seen them. I've been doing some looking. Some people said the Aberration Cave right below base has them in there with the Sabertooth Salmon. I haven't seen any, though. That's where we're going to. But you can always grab one of those, let it attach to you, and that'll soak up radiation. I think it lasts for like 10 minutes. And that's another way, if you don't want to build a hazmat suit, to run down in here on like a normal team. If you have something that's immune to radiation, or you make the mushroom stew. So there's multiple ways to do this. This is just kind of a new method with the whole Andrew Sarkis. So I'm kind of curious how it's going to work out. I don't think he'll take radiation damage. I don't know for sure, but I mean, you figure if he's protecting you from... The radiation with the the saddle that he won't take it himself however he does have an oxygen stat and it protects you from losing oxygen so i don't know it's <laughs> it's kind of a weird situation we'll take a look while we're down here though for oh there's one right there oh wait yep those are shadow means it's a yellow one oh it's a 140 a female what is ours is ours a male or a female dude that yellow one looks awesome Oh, dude, we got to see what level ours is. I mean, what gender it is. We might team that one regardless. I'm wanting to get quite a few of those and do some weird color breeding and stuff once we bring ours over from the other map. 
Because we have a pair that has some nice colors, and I thought those things only spawned on this little island here, but I guess not. I really gotta watch out whenever I'm messing around. And there's another blue-purple area like this, down further. Didn't know that either. I don't see any more in here. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, there's another... Another one of those. Another rune. See, those runes are all over the place. We're at 77. Nice, nice. And here is the cave. I think this is it, right? Yeah, okay, cool. So, let's get out here. Let's throw... We safe? Safe-ish? We're never safe. You're never safe, man. It's Ark. Alright, let's throw you out. Let's take a look at... GPS. In case you didn't know, the cave entrance is roughly 41.7. 49.4, and that'll bring you here to where it is. And I'll show you where it changes to radiation, in case you don't know. That way, if you want to stick your head in here a little bit, just to see what it's about, and not take radiation. So the cave is super small here. Let's turn the lights up so we can see. First person. Oh, dude, it's going to make me nauseous. We're going to need to go first person to see the eggs, though, anyways. And then the radiation starts right here where this crystal kind of cuts across. So, up, up to right here, you're safe. And he's not taking radiation. Interesting. Okay, cool. So, he is immune to it. I don't know if that's map specific or if we can take him actually down to Aberration. And take him down to the red zone. Oh, dude, there's already rock drakes. What level are you? Level 50. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Let's see how we do. 420 on the damage. Not too bad. We should be okay, I think. Again, it is only a primitive saddle, so 100 on the armor. The bad part is, I probably should have brought some extra meat because rock drakes do not give you very much regular meat at all to heal up with. So here's the nests here. Nothing in that one, okay. It's a very small area. It kind of loops around. I mean, we're almost looking at the whole thing right here. There is an egg way over there, so we'll see. If we get a high level egg today, fantastic. If not, I mean, that's fine, too. It was mainly just for testing today to see how this works out. We do have a super good pair for breeding that we got on the mod map of Fyodor, and they're over on Valgaro for the moment. Just kind of clear out as much as we can, because as soon as we get out of his little turret to grab eggs, I do not want to have to deal with the rock drakes. There's a couple eggs. There's one down there, and there's one right here. Oh, there's one right there, too. He doesn't see us yet. All right, let's see if we can do this first person thing. Okay, so that's a level 55, okay? We're gonna take it anyways and eat it. I want them to start respawning. I wouldn't mind getting some good colors. We are currently have an event going on for the holiday for 4th of July, so there are some different color stuff. Okay, we're taking radiation. Not much though, right? Oh yeah, that's, that's fantastic, man. Let's go ahead and eat this just for weight purposes. And he's not taking too much damage at all, either. I mean, we've only lost about 100 health, so it's not too bad. So you can easily come down here with a low-level Andrew Sarkis in a just a primitive saddle. I mean, that is if you don't aggro the whole room! Holy crap, dude! Totally forgot whenever you grab that one egg, they all come for you. Yep, kind of caught in a corner here. But we're biting everybody, though. It's got almost like an AoE bite. Okay, okay. Starting to get worried a little bit on our health. What is the levels of these guys? That's a 90, okay. There we go, there we go. That was a 170. Oh, dude, there should be a good egg in here then. Usually. The bad part is the Andrew Sarkis, he has a turning radius of a rock drake. <laughs> kind of makes it hard when you're fighting them. Both of you doing that like really wide turn. This might be everybody in the room though, which is awesome because then we can go ahead and grab the rest of the eggs without worrying about it. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. Anytime now. Nice, nice. Let's keep the feathers, in case we need them. Drop all this other junk. See, I mean, out of all that, we got hardly any meat at all. Not too bad. We lost a good bit of health, almost 10,000. But I think we kind of cleared out the whole area. All right, let's see. That's a 95. We'll, like I said, we'll pick them all up regardless. <laughs> in and out, man. I like it. Oh, uh, dude. So was there any more over here in the middle before we head all the way down? 
And that's a nest. There's a nest here, too. Can we jump up there? Oh, he's got hops, man. Nice, that's what I was worried about. Oh, there's a 170! Oh, that's fantastic! We'll throw that in the egg incubator today. And have us one for messing around on. But that's why I brought the grapple hooks. I didn't know if he'd be able to get up into the nests. Oh, I hear one. He came whooshing in. Another one over here, too. And we should be able to get fungal wood out of those. But we gotta watch out, too. So those things sometimes leave out little spores. And, dude, you'll get that hallucinogenic effect. It's, uh, it's not a good thing. That might just be over on Gen 2 that they do that. I always hit them when I'm trying to tame Shadow Mains. I'll tell you what, man. It is the worst time when that happens. Alright, so... What level are you? I don't want the nest. I want the egg. Wait, back up. That's a 90. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know why I'm looking at them like this. We're gonna grab them all anyway so that they respawn. But that is kind of neat, though. So that should work out with a bat, too. With grabbing dragon eggs, we should be able to stay cloaked. Get up next to the egg and zoom in and see what it is without getting off. That way, we don't have to uncloak and then risk getting seen. That's what happened that last time we were down there doing that, right? They saw us whenever we were checking the eggs. <laughs> For such a big guy. He's got some good jumps, man. Level 55, not that high. Let's go ahead and eat some of these just for weight purposes. Oh, that 170 is fantastic, though. So let's keep you in there. I don't want to accidentally eat it. A little bit of breakfast. Nice, nice. That should be it for over here. Are there any lamp rays in here? I don't see any. And there's not. You figure there would be. I mean, it's radiation zone, right? They should be in here anyways. Let's smack one of these and see if we get some fungal wood, too. Since we're doing all this testing today. You don't. You get a bunch of mushrooms. Okay, okay, okay. That's not too bad. Let's see if there's any more nests over here that we'll head up. Throw that in the egg incubator and see what we got for our rock drake. We'll make a quick saddle. We should have enough stuff, I think. What do we need for it? Make sure there's nothing down here that we need. Ooh, red gems. We can get those down by base. Not a big deal. I don't think there's any in here. Here's another egg. But yeah, those are in that cave that's just below us, so it's not, not too hard to get them. Can I... Come on, buddy. There you go. Twenty-five. Definitely not keeping it. Oh, there's another one. Okay, that's probably the last one over here. I mean, we got a 170, so that is not bad of a day at all. And didn't have to make a hazmat suit. Nothing to repair. That's a level 100. It's a little bit better. All right, so I'm make, making our way out. We'll get to where we're not in the radiation and just teleport back to over by base. And I think it's only going to put us right below base, kind of where we teleported to in the last video, which is fine because I'll fly back over and grab those gems on the way out. That would have been awesome if a high-level one was right there. You run in, grab that one, <laughs> and leave out. You leaving your mark, buddy? Is that what it is? He's claiming his territory as his. Well, that went not too bad. I, I thought it went a lot better than it was going to, especially with only having a primitive saddle. Can you imagine having a high damage one and just using the, the turret for killing everything? Oh, it would have made life so much easier. All right, we're going to teleport from right here just so that we're safe. You don't have anything that we need, do you? Just the other feather. We'll drop all the rest of this. He can heal up at base. It'll be fine. All right, pick you up, and back to base we go. Oh, this makes it so much easier. Uh, where was it that we went to last time? Was it this one? I think so, and then we gotta go... Let's do north. I think last time we did east. Why is it red? <laughs> it's kind of weird, man. It always changes colors. Alright, so we're over on the volcano. It's kind of the same area. Last time we were... I don't know where we were last time. Anyways, let's get our bird out. And we are right over by the cave, too. 
Maybe we landed over on that one last time. I can't remember. Any weeds? Grab us some red gems. We'll go up. Oh, there's another. Look at that, man. I'll tell you what. Everywhere you look are runes. I kind of like it, but it's going to suck when we get down to where there's only a couple left. I know they're going to be hidden, and we won't be able to see them. There we go, man. 78 of 200. We probably should have done this at night so we could come in here in stealth mode. There's ravagers and everything else around. All we need to do... I'll tell you what, let's go this way. I don't want to go that way because there's usually Carnos. The lovely roll rats. Crazy colors on them. Some more ravagers. I don't want to aggro the ravagers. I'd rather do this, if we can, without aggro and everything. Latching available. I don't want to latch, man. You always want to latch on stuff. I don't ever want to latch on stuff. we got to work this out here. Alright, so we don't want the normal ones. We don't want the stone. That's going to be plenty, I think. Let's double check. Oh yeah, 85. 85. That's plenty. Oh yeah, so I found the other terminal. I didn't grab the runes or anything in there. I kind of waited till I could show you guys. We'll stop back by. It's the terminal. So this is the one for the Megapithecus. We found the one that's for the dragon that's over kind of where we got the bat at. And then I found the one for the Broodmother. What is that? Is that a Spino? <laughs> Spawned in the rocks. That's fine, dude. You just stay up there, man. But yeah, so I found the one for the Broodmother. So we'll swing back by there before we head up to base. I'll show you where it's at. It's a pretty straightforward cave. It's a cave I totally forgot about. And it used to have one of the kind of the crates in it for the skins. So that's kind of, it got replaced by the terminal for the boss. So luckily, it's not far from here. It's along the water and just over this way some more. That was a seagull. I don't want to have anything stolen from us, especially our gems. Is that a waterfall cave? Dude, I have never seen this. Oh, that is fantastic, man. What is in here? Anything? So this area is new. Nice place to build at. Are there any bats in here? It's some crystal. There's a water source. Interesting. I think that's the first waterfall cave. Well, I mean, there's one over on Valgaro as well. Oh, this place is massive, man. Does it go to anywhere else? It has two openings. Okay, okay. Some metal. Oh, that is awesome. I have never seen that there. And now I'm going to be lost for where we're going to for our cave. <laughs> it was over in the same area. We have arrived. Let me get the GPS out. Show you where it's at. It's kind of hidden. So right here is a cave. It's very small to see. And what we're looking at is 57.4 and 65.6. Kind of middle of the map. Down to the right there. I heard you. <laughs> That'll take you to right here. So like I said, it used to be a cave for grabbing the skins. And it's different. This used to be all walled off. So what you had to do before was coming through here. It's a rune in the corner. And then you used to have to go under there to kind of get to the other room. However, it is open now. So we are going to go that way. And then in through here. Used to be the same. That's where you would come through at. You would come up here. And right here used to be... A little building, right? They had one of the crates in it and stuff. And that's where you got another one of the skins. Let's go ahead and grab this. We got a ton of those runes now. 80 of 200. So yeah, now this is the Broodmother spawn terminal. It's kind of neat. Kind of hidden away. All we need is the artifact of the Hunter, Massive, and Clever. And this is the one for the bee. We'll spawn this one in for the Relic. We've got the Massive. We need the Hunter and Clever to be able to do this. And it's going to be a ton of resources. I'm really curious if this teleports you into the same arena or if they remade them. I'm guessing they probably didn't remake the arenas. You kind of need if they did. Put that into damage. Cool. All right, let's go up, make our saddle. We'll throw the egg in the incubator and get this guy hatched before we go for the day. Hopefully we'll get some good colors on him. Preferably some good stats. And that'll be another glider for us to mess around on. All right, first things first. Let's move the other bat out of here just so that we got enough room buddy need you to wake up man 
somebody was telling me in the comments that they took and built some pillars up and put a bunch of ceilings on them, about 12 foundations wide, and then they hang all their bats there. <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a neat way to do it, I think. We should definitely set something up like that at our base whenever we get it kind of going. So what do we have here? Oh, wait, you know what? Take you out. I did not set auto temperature. Auto hatch. Okay, now we can do this. There we go. So it is going to be... Oh wait, that's the... that's the wrong one. Those horrible colors on them anyways. <laughs> oh man. So this is a female, 170. Kind of an interesting color pattern. Okay, okay. Damage is not the best. Health is pretty good though. Okay, we'll see what it turns out to be. Let's make us a saddle while we're waiting. I think we need to make it at the smithy and we'll try to upgrade it. I don't think I've done any upgrading on the rock drake saddles either. Drop all those into there for now. One of you, please. You know what? We might not be able to do upgrades because it's going to require a bunch of red gems. We don't have very many. Sort this out real quick while that's doing its thing. I mean, we could try. We'll try to upgrade it once. Yep, we can do literally one upgrade on it. And let's go ahead and just... We're going to need, what, fiber and hide, I think it said? A little bit of hide. If I can spell. There we go. Alright, one upgrade, please. Let it be a good one. It was a normal one. <laughs> That's fine. That used all of our crystals. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. It's a 98 versus just a regular primitive one. Let's go ahead and paint it. Need to make some more dyes. I need to set up a cooking pot here soon. I'm trying to hold off on too much building until we get the game of boss done, because that way we can just set up one huge base and not mess with everything, you know? Versus building a lot of little stuff. Let's see if this egg is ready. It should be. We'll go ahead and hatch him up. And let them get raised. I really want a mutator to have things grow. Wait. <laughs> Got scared for a second. Please be some good colors. You're not. Ah, uh, dude, you're regular green. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. You're all right. You'll be all right. We'll have you for a little bit. You'll have some friends soon whenever I bring the other ones over. Let me check our feed trough. We are fine. Not too bad. Cool. I'm going to let this guy raise up. And then we'll throw the saddle on. Take it for a spin and see how it is, man. Not too bad of a day, though. Not too bad of a day. I like how the Andrew Sarkis is used for multiple things, right? He's not really good at one thing, but he does multiple things. And apparently you can use him down on the ocean floor. I didn't know there was a button to make him run on the ground. So we'll try that out at some other point in time. All right, so it is coming up on morning time. I want to test something. So we have the elixir from the bats that we made, and that gives you a 30% on your imprinting. So, seeing that we're at 74%, and sometimes I mess it up and only get like 98 or 99 with the nanny, I, I kind of want to see if this is going to work. And it does, so that'll give us a 100% imprint. So that is a guaranteed way to get a 100%. If it's a team that I'm worried about, just go ahead and make up one of the elixirs in the bat, and then once it hits about 70%, go ahead and just use it. And then I don't have to worry about you only giving me 98% on some of my teams. <laughs> it's not always a problem. But, I mean, it happens quite a bit, actually. So, that's kind of neat, man. So, it is kind of coming on morning time. So, this will be done here pretty soon. And the stats aren't looking too bad. We're 8,200 on the health. Stamina is 967. Weight is 710. And 376 on damage. So, overall, not too bad of stats for just being a 170 and then not having any breeding or anything. The colors, I am not crazy about at all. But it's just one we're going to have for playing around here until we get our other ones anyways. So, almost, man. Almost. We'll take it for our flight once it's ready. Alright, somebody is all raised up and ready to go. It's kind of the typical Rock Drake colors. I mean, I've had quite a few with the same color, color scheme. And dude, I tell you what, it's going to be so weird flying on this thing. I haven't been on one in so long. But, oh man. <laughs> Brings back memories of the mod map version. Because I used Rock Drakes quite a bit on there. 
And there we go, getting some levels up. Let's do a little bit of hunting before we go. Somebody ended up eating all of my extra meat. Get his health up. And there's an alpha down there. I do need some more of the runes. So level 50, we should be okay. Let's go ahead and put some into damage. Our whole one. Oh, there's a sheep. I have not hardly seen any of these on the map. Let's go ahead and kill it. <laughs> I need the lamb chops. I'll cook that up as soon as I get back to base. Oh, that's kind of nice, man. I probably should tame some of those just so I have them on hand. Use them for breeding. Let's do a couple points into there. All right, buddy. So 340, that is not bad on our base damage. Dude, I'll tell you what, these Alpha Carnos, man. Oh, that's what I'm worried about. So see, you can get lifted up by a Carno on any other creature and still do full damage, but the Shadow Mains don't. I don't know what the deal is with that. All right, I need to get turned around. Oh, I need to get turned around. Add some cool colors on that Diplo over there. I like that, the white and the blue. Not crazy about the red, but it works. All right, looks, look. Fight me face to face. Don't kill him. Leave him alone as I, <laughs> as I run him over and kill him. All right, all I want is your runes. Surrender the runes and we will be fine. Dude, they are so aggressive, man. Strong too. It's probably the lack of arms, you know. Get all kind of, kind of irritated all the time. That's why they always have that bad attitude. Can't reach anything. Little stubby hands, huh? Might have been a very, very bad choice. He's starting to get bloody though. Our saddle's helping out a good bit though. Oh, <laughs> sorry, man. Poor little dodos. Casualty of war. I see they removed the party dodos too that were kind of around everywhere. All right, man, look. There we go. All I wanted was the runes. It could have been very simple. Oh, we are so out of stamina. We're full on weights. We got 45 levels. Okay, look. You guys are attacking me whenever I can't move, okay? We're low on stamina. Let's get back up the base and throw everything into the grill real quick. We'll put some levels into this guy. I'll probably put quite a bit into his health. I need to see what his stamina is like. We ran out of stamina pretty fast there. They're kind of like griffins, where you got to have a lot of stamina in them for them to be really useful. And speaking of stamina, we are so low. We didn't lose too much health on that, especially with it being an alpha we were fighting. Can we get some stamina back, please? Just a little? We just need to get back up to the base here. Look, you got to work with me here on this flying thing. Let's say, man, you latch on to stuff. You should be able to, be able to climb up it pretty easy. That's going to be a good bit of lamb chop, though, to use for taming. Instead of all of our kibble. We're still doing fairly well on that, surprisingly. I mean, we haven't tamed too much in this series. But the little bit we have, we're kind of kind of doing decent on our kibble. Yep, yep. Terrifying, I know. I'll tell you what, the trees. Buddy, you got to work with me here, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're on day one and already having problems. Anyways. Let's do this. I want the lamb chops first. Wait. I'm having problems with buttons here. Dude, I can't believe we got 45 levels off that one alpha. I could use the... Take a while, let's do this. Oh, I looted a... Yep, crossbow. Don't need that. Go ahead and turn you on. We'll just transfer with the tool. Probably be the easiest. What do we get out of that? We got only eight. I mean... It was only a level 50, which is fine. Let's drop all this junk. I don't want any of it. I've got so many crossbows, man. Holy crap, the amount of crossbows you get. Where is my transfer tool? There we go. All right, everything from you. Everything from you. Everything from you. Well, I tell you what. Into you. It's full. Yeah, it's going to be full. It's probably a lot of the prime meat. That's fine, though. We'll get quite a bit. Wait. There we go. There we go. We got some prime meat. We got some lamb chops cooking. Overall, man, not too bad of a day. So we got a rock drake down in the radiation zone without a hazmat suit. Very simple to do using the Andrew Sarkis. We got a very good egg, a decent rock drake. If he can work on his flight and latching a little bit, he needs to take some, <laughs> some lessons from the bat on latching. But overall, man, not too bad of a day. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.